<sighs> Good morning from Moorhead City, North Carolina. It's very bright and as you can see, I am still in my pajamas. So Frank just went to this dock behind me. Um, we ordered some stuff from Walmart and I don't know, man, they're slacking. This is the second time. Today's order was okay, but we ordered one also yesterday and they were slacking. It was supposed to be a two hour express thing. We got it like six hours later. It's just crazy. But yeah, we forgot to order some things in the first Walmart order. So that's why we're getting a second one today. And um, yeah, so just need more flex seal tape for the uh the dinghy fixing the dinghy dinghy's always a problem we're just planning on buying a new dinghy a fiberglass dinghy but in the meantime we're just gonna keep on with the flex seal tape and figure out some other stuff and then we got some sleeping bags man we got two sleeping bags that you could zip together to make one sleeping bag we slept in those last night. That was very nice. I received a package. I received a package. Roger that. I'm here on the front of the building, and like we were saying last night, uh, maybe the park or something is 815, or the marina itself is 815, but the only number that you can see from the street is 807. So it just makes it seem like this parking lot is probably 807. Roger. Well, we shouldn't have more any more deliveries, so but we will keep that in mind. The drivers kept getting uh, a little lost and just driving around trying to figure out where to deliver to. Anyways, yeah, I'm sure you guys have already seen um, the hole that I put into the side of the boat. That's great. Um, the current and the wind was very crazy yesterday and um, we needed to be going pretty fast just to keep us in line with trying to get into the slip but between how fast we were going and the way the current was pushing us we ended up hitting the dock and I put a nice size hole in our boat so that's cool um, obviously not but yeah it's Luckily, the spot that it's in, it's not that bad. It's above the waterline, not taking on any water or anything. We put flex seal tape over top of it uh, for now to keep from water or rain, you know, getting into it. And we're just trying to figure out where exactly we're gonna get the hole patched up at and who's gonna do it. Are we gonna pay somebody to do it? Are we gonna do it ourselves you know there's a lot of, lock the bike. I'm looking for a good place to lock the bike there's a lot of moving parts roger that
very interested in what kind of boat that is. He just said, whip and flip, man. He was out of here. I am. That wasn't as bad as it looked. Yeah, super. Super f***ed up. There's a boat headed our way on the port side. Target acquired. Coming in for the haul out. Oh, you're recording, so. What are you putting in my pocket? I don't want nothing in my pocket. You gotta take this. Dude. What is it? It's the cat. Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Keep walking, straight in. Okay. Are they gonna want lines or something? Yeah, I don't know. We don't have any fenders or nothing, but I, I don't think they need any of that stuff. So. Not even lines? Full keel? Uh, it's, it's no, it's not full, a full. It's, it's 
elongated peel. Yeah, it probably would. It's. I'd have to look at a picture. There should be some straps from some some scratches from when we did it last time. My man, Mark is here. He helped us get all squared away. I guess we'll show you one of the main reasons why we're here. We're also here to get an autopilot. But, uh, there was a dock that wasn't too friendly to us. Getting some fiberglass repair. And we may repaint the entire boat. That's definitely something we've been discussing. There she goes. There she goes. That's our baby. Definitely no bueno. Oh, it never ends. <laughs> <laughs>